Today we'll be testing out the Harbor Freight Icon Flex Head 3 8 inch ratchet like never before. We'll be putting this through multiple different tests. A strength test, as well as how light or how little back drag this ratchet has. We'll be testing the 90 tooth ratcheting mechanism to see the degrees of arc swing. And did Harbor Freight finally resolve the Icon Flex Head 3 8 inch drive ratchet issue from 2019 with the new release 2021 version? Stick around, let's find out right after this. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. That way you won't miss out on any future upcoming videos, different brands, whether expensive or inexpensive. You probably have a brand that's just right for you. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Now rewind back to 2019 when Icon first launched. Things were simpler. We did stuff by hand and this is what happened. So here you can see we have locked up this Icon ratchet. Harbor Freight later went on to release a statement that said it was a quality control issue, not a safety issue. You get your money back or you could get a new ratchet and they'd even give you a voucher for a free one when the new ones are released. Fast forward to today, I'm still waiting for that voucher, so if you receive one, let me know down below in the comments. Now I purchased these with my own money, receipts up there on the right hand side. There are some slight differences, the selector switch is a little bit different, the thickness is a little bit different, the internal gear is a little bit bigger, the overall handle length is slightly longer, and the fit and the finish, the chroming, everything looks to be just about the same. Now the big question is, did Harbor Freight finally fix the issue with the Icon 3 8 inch drive flex ratchets, but well, we're gonna find out. We have the 2019 version, that's the old one on the left, and the new one on the right, that's the 2021 version. We're gonna go ahead and put these head to head up to 150 foot pounds minimum, which means we hit the minimum standard set by the American Society of Mechanical Engineers, or ASME for short, and we can see that we hit 161 foot pounds and 165 foot pounds on the new 2021 ratchet. Now let's see if we have any issues that are present and see if this socket is able to turn. And we can see that the Harbor Freight 2021 version doesn't lock up, has no issues compared to the older 2019 version. So it looks like Harbor Freight resolved this issue. Now let's jump on to a couple other tests. If you've ever worked in a tight confined space where you just don't have a lot of movement, the first click gear slack test where you're measuring the theoretical swing arc versus the actual is really, really important. We're gonna use the digital angle finder, zero things out. The Icon ratchet being a 90 tooth has a four degree arc swing movement. So we're gonna wait for it, listen for that click. You hear it, you can see it, 5.15 was that actual. Then we bring things back to rest, gets you back around that theoretical four degrees. So not too bad, 5.15 difference of 1.15 degrees. One more here for consistency's sake, 9.40. Comes out to be an actual 5.35 degrees. So the average 5.25 actual versus four degrees theoretical, not too bad. Next we'll test out the back drag or maybe just measuring the spring tension internally. Now we're not talking about the clicking you hear, we're talking about the actual movement of engagement so that you can remove or tighten your fastener. Now these forces are really tiny they're measured in inch ounces with this torque screwdriver here. And let me put into perspective the amount of forces we're talking about. If you were to take an apple, for example, and twist off the stem, you can see that it's roughly around two inch ounces and maybe will peak around four inch ounces before twisting off. Now on the higher side, looking at this screw on the wall switch plate, you're not gonna be exerting more than eight or nine inch ounces. Link up above in the cards, as well as down below in the description, where we tested out a ton of different brands. And the Icon 1 here from Harbor Freight coming in roughly around 5 to 6 inch ounces. So if we think about all the other tools we tested, probably in the top 50% for smoothness. Definitely not the worst, definitely not the best, definitely not the cheapest, definitely not the most expensive. The Harbor Freight Pittsburgh one is cheaper and smoother. However, this one's going to be stronger and last longer. Well, we're going to find that out. And all of it's subject to change based on wear, usage, lubrication, and even temperature. Now, unfortunately, before we can get to this, I'll let you know that we'll be using the Icon. This is the new chromoly sockets. Here's a brand new 19 millimeter 
This is what it looks like before any use. Here's a snap-on one that's undergone quite a bit of wear and tear through similar tests. So we'll go ahead and get everything locked and loaded, snapped into place. Everything is working freely, doesn't have any issues, is smooth, no lockups. We're going to go ahead and take it to 150 pounds 10 times. And we're doing this because it's new, it's an icon, and it's a flex head, and we want to see a lot of flex in it. I mean, 150 foot-pounds really isn't pushing it too much. We'll go ahead and back things off, and we're going to test it out and see if there's any issues. We can see that there's no lockups, no issues, no problems at 150 foot-pounds. Now it's time to push it a little bit farther. We're going to go up to 200 foot-pounds. Why? And I wouldn't say it's because I made it because I over-engineered it, but you can't walk into Harbor Freight, Home Depot, or any kind of hardware store and get this. So it looks like we ended up peaking at 211 foot-pounds. Nice amount of flex in this flex head. Icon, you're doing all right so far. Can't complain. Now, I will complain if you don't work or if you lock up or you have an issue. So let's go check it out and see if there is any problems at 200 foot-pounds. Spins freely, smoothly. Selector switch works. Looks like there's no issues at 211.8 foot-pounds. Let's go ahead and take this thing to failure. Now we have everything set up. We'll give you the combined three camera angles. We're going to take this one to failure. Again, we've never used this machine ever. This is the first time. We're going to make sure that everything's set up. Three cameras is a lot to get going here. Everything looks good. Still seems okay. Going up to 200 foot-pounds. Everything still looks in line. All righty, let's let it go. Yikes, oh, I can feel it yielding. Now I heard this snap. We'll have to go back and look and see if we broke the yoke pin or anything like that. Lots of flex. I don't know what I'm more impressed with, the 290.6 foot-pounds on a flex head ratchet or the fact that it flew like literally 10 feet in the air and landed in a pile of metal chiming like a bell. It's like heavenly music. How is everything afterwards? Well, here is that 19 millimeter socket. We have a clean anvil shear. We'll go ahead and pop that out. And the socket doesn't actually look too bad. There's the icon one over here, and here is the well used snap on one. Looks pretty decent and acceptable. So we thought that we did hear a snap there. We'll go ahead, and it's kind of an interesting, it's like a mix of a T15 and T20. So we did not actually have any pin shearage, so that was good. Probably just our new fixtures setting in place. Go ahead and put that back together. It'll be interesting to see if there is a lot of flex or wobble. So the head yoke looks decent. Still fairly tight. And honestly, for putting 290 foot-pounds on there and being a flex head and not being floppy, I'm actually pleasantly surprised that we didn't bend it. Still pretty impressed. All right, so there is the internals. Everything still looks to be operational. Internally, we see lubrication, not an excessive amount. And when we look at the internals, the pawl and the gear, they made up nicely. Clean anvil shear, couple scrapes and dings, but all in all, still looks very, very usable. So internally, no issues, just a clean anvil shear on the Icon 3 8 inch flex head ratchet. So what are my final thoughts on the Icon 
or even Icon Flex ratchets, well, I can tell you the new 2021 version seems well improved. Doesn't have the lockup issues, is really, really strong. The sockets, they seem pretty decent. We'll have to get those Rockwell hardness tested. Feel like they should not have ever rounded out those corners to begin with to help mate up with the anvil. You should really only care about your brand and how it works with that. Everybody else should be a second thought. Comfort grip, if you want it in some of them, feels really a lot like the Pittsburgh. So if you like it, you like it. If you don't, you don't. All in all, good improvement over the old recalled flex head ratchets. I don't have any, any real major complaints. If you can find a coupon when they are available on the Icon stuff, I picked my stuff up for 20% off. It's a great, great bargain. It is more expensive than the Pittsburgh stuff. They both do carry a lifetime warranty. I don't know. I own it. I have it. Hopefully it continues to service and do things well. Only time will tell. Really appreciate you guys all tuning in. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like this video, go ahead and give it two thumbs down. And as always, work smarter, not harder. We'll catch you in the next video. Just a friendly reminder, go ahead and hit that subscribe button.